CITES is the Convention for the International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Flora and Fauna, that is animals and plants, and it concerns itself with the trade. So in the implementation of the convention, it was observed that in West Africa, there's a gap in the East implementation because we have low understanding of the convention. Out of this, that uh, WABIC, which is the West African Biodiversity Conservation Program, sponsored by the USAID, was able to talk to ECOWAS sub-region so that each country will provide young people to be trained for that program. The study has been very beneficial to me personally and to my organization because it has actually enhanced our work as a division, especially uh, at the frontiers, working with customs at the exit and entry points of the uh, country. I must say that after the training my predecessor James received, um, there has been a lot of collaboration now. Collaboration has improved in the sense that without our authorization, no wildlife good goes in and out of the Kotoka International Airport. By way of our mandate, we form the first line of contact for all international transactions. But with regards to CITES, it appears most of the officers of customs had no proper training in CITES, and so they didn't understand the concept very well. And so previously, even some species in transit were just being allowed to pass without any proper verification of the documents covering them. See, until sometime in last year, when we had issues with some Africa grey parrots. And so in the course of that investigation, I got closer to Game and Wildlife, and there they exposed me better to CITES and the conditions thereof. From what I gathered from them, I realized our officers will need some sort of training. And so we, we, we started liaising more with Game and Wildlife on every shipment of species that we encountered. Our next action will, will be to take the collaboration to all other entry points of the country. Training was difficult in terms of funding, but if that is a sustainable funding to train our young officers, that will ensure the future of conservation in the West African sub -reading. I'm hoping to come back after my training fully equipped on certain um, ways of conserving animals. And I also want to come back with more knowledge on how to implement and develop in my country.